Hi, this is Olajide from CTF Security and welcome to another video on YouTube. In this video, we will explore the process of extracting passwords saved within the Firefox web browser. We will uncover how Python script can help recover forgotten passwords or conduct ethical security audits to enhance online safety. We have basically four objectives in this video. Explore and identify locations of saved username and passwords. Two, understand how Firefox uses NSS library to provide cryptography functions to encrypt and decrypt saved users' credential. Three, demonstrate using Python script how to extract plain text password from Firefox password manager. And lastly, Provide some recommendation on protective measures against this kind of attack. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into the practical demo of extracting the password saved within the Firefox password manager, it is necessary we understand how username and password are being encrypted and stored within the Firefox web browser using the PKCS11 standard. Now the PKCS11 standard also known as the public key cryptography standard 11 is a widely adopted and standardized cryptography protocol now imagine you are using a firefox web browser to access websites on the internet now whenever you visit a website that requires a secure connection like online banking or shopping site you want to make sure that your data like password or credit card information is safe from hackers now, to achieve this security, Firefox uses a special technology called the PKCS11. This technology helps Firefox handle sensitive information like secret keys and certificates, which are like digital passports that confirm the identity of websites. Now, additionally, when you save password in a password manager within Firefox, the public key cryptography standard can be involved in the encryption and decryption process of the password manager. By utilizing the public key cryptography standard, Firefox can ensure that your saved password remains safe and inaccessible to unauthorized users. It also allows the password manager to securely retrieve and use your password when you need them, such as automatically filling in login credentials for websites without exposing them in plain text. Because of this standard, the Network Security Service NSS, was developed by Mozilla, which implements several of the PKCS standard. One of the essential functions of the NSS is to implement several of the public key cryptography standard, making it easier for developers to integrate strong cryptography and adhere to the public key cryptography specification in their application while ensuring secure data transmission and storage. Now that we understand how Firefox uses the public key cryptography standard and the network security service, Let's dive into the technicalities involved in the password encryption and decryption process in Firefox Password Manager. Now, when you log into a website and choose to save the password, Firefox stores the username and password combination in its password manager. This data is typically saved in a file within your Firefox profile directory. Now, Firefox uses the Network Security Service Library to handle all encryption and cryptography operations. If you choose to set a master password, Firefox will use this as the key to perform an additional layer of encryption on your saved passwords. The master password is not stored anywhere on the disk and you will need to enter it every time you start Firefox or access a saved password. Now, when a master password is set, Firefox uses it to derive a cryptography key this process involves applying a one-way cryptography hash function such as password-based key derivation function to the master password to generate a strong and unique key. This derived key is used to encrypt and decrypt the saved password in the password 
manager. Whenever you try to access a website that requires a saved password, Firefox prompts you to enter the master password. Once you provide the correct master password, Firefox uses it to derive the cryptographic key again. It then decrypts the stored encrypted password in the password manager, allowing the browser to provide the plain text password to the website for automatic login. If no master password is set, Firefox still encrypts the saved password but uses a default internal encryption key or mechanism. This encryption is applied to the username password pair, providing basic protection against unauthorized access. So now that all the theoretical stuff is out of the way, let's perform a practical demonstration on how to extract Firefox password in plain text. Now the script we are going to use in this video is going to perform three main processes. The first is to identify the locations of the saved username and password. Then it is going to load the network security service library and then decrypt the saved username and password. Now if you take a look at the screen right here, we have different profile paths for different operating system. Now if you are running a Windows operating system, we have a profile path for you right here. If you're running a Mac operating system, this will be your profile path. And uh, lastly, if you're running a Linux based operating system, this is going to be your profile path. Now you need to do a little bit of modification right here because you need to replace your username right here. And you also need to replace this um, eighth character here before the dot default. Now, because I'm using a Linux based operating system, I'm going to be demonstrating this right now. So I'm going to copy the full part of this profile part and I'm just going to head straight to my terminal. And from the terminal, I can see the into this part. Then I'm going to make my modification and uh, here I'm going to replace the username with my computer's username which is r007 and uh, i'm going to do away with the xxxx.default because we don't know that yet so from here i can ls and uh, i'm going to have the eight character dot default and we have another eight character dot default dash esr from here i can see the Let's check out what we have on this ESR. So from this point, you can see that we have a lot of configuration files on this particular profile. That is nice. So what we're going to do is to just go back. Okay, so I'm back at the root directory, which is my profile directory. So now let's take a look at the uh, Python script we are going to be using to extract this password. So I'm going to search for uh, Firefox decrypt. So it's a Python script. And we're going to go with the first link. I'm just going to right click and open the new tab. Let's just this one. All right, so we have the GitHub repository of the Firefox decrypt. Now, what I'm going to do is to access the Firefox decrypt.py itself. So I'm going to right click and open in a new tab. Now, while that is opening, let's take a look at the user manual for the Firefox decrypt.py. So it's very easy to use. All we need to do is to specify Python and the Firefox decrypt.py. Now, from this point, if your target system is using a master password, you need to supply the master password during the program execution. If not, you are just good to go. So what we're going to do is to view the script. The script is about 1000 page. So I won't just waste much time trying to figure out what each line of the code is trying to do. So what we're going to do is dive in straight uh, to the GitHub repo and we're going to clone the repository and from here we can head to the terminal 
to clone this repository i'm going to use the command git clone and i'm going to supply the url i copied earlier and i'm going to hit the enter key this is going to download the firefox decrypt repository into our local machine so what i have to do next is to ls to see what we have so we can see that we have a new directory created called firefox decrypt so what we'll do next is to change directory so now that we are in let's check what we have in that directory now we have a lot of files uh, the change log.md we also have the firefox decrypt.py let's check if this file has the executable permission so i'm going to use the ls-pals to check for file permission now uh, we can see that this file has read write executable permission for the owner of the file and since i'm the owner of the file i'm just going to run the script so we're going to use python 3 and we're going to specify the name of the script which is firefox decrypt.py so i'm going to press the enter key and we get list of the profile it is able to extract now earlier i check out the dot default dash esr and i find out that we have a lot of configuration files and data within that particular profile so i'm going to select two and i'll press the enter key and this is going to extract uh, some information that has to do with the password manager as you can see on the screen these are users credentials that are being extracted from the firefox password manager in plain text in conclusion saving passwords in firefox password manager may not be a good idea due to potential security risk if someone gain physical access to your computer or firefox account they could easily access all your saved passwords storing password in a dedicated reputable password manager with strong encryption is generally a safer approach to protect your sensitive information another way you could safeguard yourself against this kind of attack is to set up a firefox master password so guys that will be all in this video please make sure you like subscribe and share see you in the next video